came a couple of the guys talked about just like how special it was to have these two days and a practice you know how good was it to just to get a day off and then a practice and then in a season that's always so busy uh, it went fast that's for sure it went really fast um but it's always good to reset reset your mind reset your body um and you know just sometimes it's also good to just get away take a walk read sleep have you been able to take some of those walks around Brooklyn and have you enjoyed the moments? Yeah, yeah I have. I have. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's not bad. Weather was okay yesterday, so, you know, better than, you know, better than it has been the past couple of days. So, yeah, I was able to get out and get a nice walk. And with, with today's practice, how important is it to kind of get back to those principles, especially with the game um, coming up against the Hawks, that team that you just saw yeah. a couple of weeks ago that went into overtime? Very important, you know, things to clean up. It's working. It's a work in progress, um, and it's always a process. Getting to where we want to go. Seen a lot of things from the game last time we played them that we can clean up. Obviously, we allowed a lot of points, so a lot to look at, and, and we're looking at it and, and getting ready for the game. You guys have had a couple crazy games yeah. with Atlanta. I mean, what are some of the, I guess, the biggest single priorities in, I mean, you're not going to stop them, but at least slowing trade down somewhere? Showing bodies, staying in front. Uh, making it hard, you know, all that stuff. Appropriate physicality, you know, he, he wants to get to the line, but there's an appropriate level of physicality you can bring to the table. How's, oh, you got it. All right. How's it been with, with Spencer these last few games, just seeing him settle into this, I guess, facilitator score when necessary, but just the, the ability of knowing when to assert himself as a scorer more these last few games. How's it been kind of helping? Same as last year, as I feel like uh, this is kind of what he was doing last year. So it's not foreign, it's not something new um everybody knows he's capable of that how much of that is a luxury now that you've seen it for very, over a year very very it's very helpful um takes a load off a lot of guys and, and he's capable he's, he's he's a high level scorer um a skilled player so anytime he brings that to the table it's, it's positive for us i mean last year when the trade went down obviously he'd left one role in dallas and came here and filled a different role right but this year I mean, he's had to change yep. roles on the fly yep. in the midst of the season. Oh, yep. well, Ben's going to be on the ball. You're going to be off the ball. Yep. Ben's out. Now you're on. Just, uh, I guess, what does, it, what does it say about him that he's able to change on the fly like that and still be just as effective? Uh, he, he has a lot a lot of, you know, dimensions to his game, a lot of elements to his game. Um, and, you know, it, it's definitely tough to ask anybody, but but he's he processes the game at a high level. He understands it. Um, so he is able to, to kind of move around. I know it's been four months since August, since the FIBA World Cup, but when you were playing, when you were over there, what did you notice about the passion for basketball in the region, in the Philippines and Southeast Asia? Oh, man, Asia? they absolutely love basketball. I'm, I'm talking the hotel, every entrance, exit you could think of was swarmed with people, so you'd kind of be careful in that regard. Um, but they were, they're just, they're a passionate fan base over there. They're pretty knowledgeable. Um, and, and they showed a lot of love. Yeah, I'm curious because the last time he played in Atlanta, Mikel mentioned about how he's never won in Atlanta. It's something that okay. he thinks about. For yeah, you, since I about. imagine it's the same, is that something that you think about as well? Yeah, that's why we're glad we had this one, um, you know, scheduled. Is there something that makes Atlanta a hard place to play in? Not necessarily. Um, you know, we've had close games there. We've had games where they've shot the ball really well. We've had games like last time where it comes down to the very end. We played them at Atlanta last year um, and, and, and lost on a buzzer beater. So they've been close games. Uh, just haven't really swung our way. But it's definitely one that we're looking forward to uh, finally getting over the hill of. You've seen Mikhail since the beginning of his career for tours. When he's playing angry like he played against Charlotte Saturday, yeah, against Charlotte Saturday I guess, what does that mean for him when you can see him just kind of channel that anger into a performance like he did where he has 26 and a quarter? Um, it, it's, you see him moving fast. You know, he, he moves pretty, uh, pretty quickly when he's angry. Um, and, and uh, you know, it, it, I think it gives him a little bit of a speed boost is what I'd say. But, yeah, he plays well, plays aggressive. But he's taking good shots, you know. He's not taking wild, out-of-control shots. He's slowing down when appropriate, getting to his midi, getting all the way, um, able to knock down the three. So... As it's, it's cool to watch. And then last thing for me, uh, you heard assistant coach Kevin Alley gave you all a, a pretty rousing speech. Mikhail mentioned it, Dennis Smith mentioned it. W what does it mean to kind of have another voice on that staff, on the staff that can kind of just kind of keep it real with you guys the way that Jock does? You love it. You love it. And, and we responded to it. Um, and I thought it was a, you know, a great, 
a great scout, a great message by him to get us ready for the game. Okay, you guys are sixth in the league in offense, and obviously a lot of people thought you may struggle coming into the year in that regard. Just what have you seen from you guys, that, whether schematically or just from a mindset that's allowed you to be there, even with all the moving pieces injury-wise? I think an element of it is guys playing free and playing for each other and getting quality looks and, and shooting it with confidence.